Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Natasha White and I'm pleased to provide you with an overview of EVSP 594 Environmental Toxicology. I am one of the instructors of this course, however I may not be the instructor of the section you're currently enrolled in now. This video is meant to provide an overview of the environmental toxicology course and your instructor will provide more in-depth guidance as well as additional information during your actual course. So what is this course all about? <clears throat> environmental toxicology is one of the most fundamental concepts in environmental science. It is multidisciplinary in nature, so it considers both the living and non-living components and their interactions. However, it also takes an additional step by considering the harmful impacts associated with exposure to chemical, physical, and biological agents. In this course, you'll learn the basics of environmental toxicology and have the opportunity to apply some of the concepts you learn by completing a risk assessment. You'll gain new knowledge each week and quickly realize how each of the concepts build upon each other. You'll have the opportunity throughout the course to assess the Eli Copper Mine Superfund site, um, which is an actual site in Vershire, Vermont. You'll be presented with problem sets that address site-specific issues, and in the end, you'll write a report of your findings um, as your final assignment. Um, as I mentioned, this is an actual Superfund site in Vershire, Vermont that is currently managed for cleanup by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. So there are a number of course outcomes in this course, all of which are listed here on the screen. I won't go into all of them, but it's important that you take the time to read them carefully so that you will have a realistic expectation of the information that, the type of inf information that you will encounter in this course. The big picture of what's communicated in the course out outcomes is basically what you're gonna learn, and that is what is environmental toxicology? How might you be exposed to contaminants? What are the types of contaminants that you might be exposed to? What are the components of a risk assessment? And how can you use what you've learned about toxicology and apply them to real world scenarios? So this course is relevant to the field of environmental science and is relevant, of course, to the field of environmental toxicology. And you will gain practical experience with assessing, assessing the exposure routes and making determination of how the environment might impact the toxicity of some substances. As an environmental resource manager, it's important that you understand the dynamics of an ecosystem or the dynamics of an environment. But it's also equally important that you have a ba at least a basic understanding of how management changes when contaminants come into play and there may be potential for harm. So what do you need to know? There are no prerequisites for this course. However, a basic knowledge of environmental science, biology, chemistry, math, and Microsoft Excel are helpful but not necessarily required. You will be presented with computations each week, so there is a need for you to have a great attention to detail, um, also and a willingness to learn. Your instructor, of course, is going to be your first resource for questions, so don't hesitate to ask questions and clarify for clarification of any concepts or any questions associated with computations that you don't understand. So how is this um, course relevant to your educational trajectory and where will you go? So since this is a graduate level elective course and it is one of the, the higher courses, a lot of you may be toward the end of your program. So um, and right before your capstone, a number of students have elected to incorporate toxicology into their capstone after taking this course. So you will find the information stimulating as well as really relevant to real world experience. Um, so best of luck to each of you. Thank you for your time and enjoy your course.